to another amazing day at fmtraining.tv. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. I am here with the wonderful Nick Hunter. Anyway, I'm here with the wonderful Nick Hunter to talk about the amazing FileMaker platform. Uh, basically, FileMaker is a really awesome database platform, and we are here five days of the week to discuss it and pretty much talk about all sorts of new training for it, covering either familiar subjects or non-familiar subjects, depending on the discussion. Uh, this week with Nick, we are doing variables for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So with that all being said, Nick, what are we doing today? Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, mm -hmm. um, Marge, for the introduction. Thank you. No, sorry. Uh, receive an email just at the, at the moment. <laughs> at a bad time. <laughs> so no, I, don't I, got, I got curious about what what it was. So, so um, <laughs> you know, sometimes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, thank you very much for joining in today. So, yeah. So, what we do today, we do variables. Okay. So, I know we went there many times, and uh, okay. So, but uh, today, um, no, it's a, it's a free day webinar. So we are going to go in deep with variables. So we're going to keep, you know, start slow, right? And then ramp up a little bit more, right? So, and we're going to play a little bit with the variable and then we see what we, how we can create them, how you can use them, you know, what we can do with them and how you, we, we use them or, uh, while we treat them, right? So, our, because there's many things to say about the variables. Uh, first, we are going to uh, define what, what a variable is. A variable is something uh, that you can store. It's like a field without a field, pretty much. So you can store pretty much whatever you want in a variable, right? Even a container you can put in a variable. Um, I mean, a file in the container can be in a variable. You can uh, use variable like a field. Okay, so the difference of a field is like a field is stored. The field, when you put something in a field, data in the field, text, number, dates, whatever, are their field will keep it stored, right? It's like saving. It's like saving. Right? So it's saved into the table and into the file, pharmacy file. It's saved so that you can retrieve them afterwards. A variable is not saved. So whatever you have in a variable, right, is there only for the time being of the variable, right? So we have different type of variable and they have different time. They have different lifetime, right? So, and I'm going to define this, right? Um, also, a field, data in a field is stored and is stored in various records. So we can have multiple data in the same field for each record. So you can have multiple records. For each record, you have different, the different data into the same field. Viable? No. That means variable is not depending is not depending to the field, to the to the records. It's not record dependent. So whatever is in the variable at one given time is what you get for the time being of the variable. That means you can't change on the fly the content of the variable like we do with a field. So demonstration here. So let me here we have Nick, we have Marge. We have Rick, we have Scott Kane, <laughs> Scott, right? So see, we have records here. So we can, we have one field data and for each field, for each record, we have different data. Okay. A variable won't be that, won't be like that at all. A variable is what you have in a variable is there, right? It's not something you can change like I do here you know, navigating from brackets. So that being said, we we have two types of variable too, you know? So we have the global, we have the local variable and the glo lo global variable, local variable and global variable. So let's start with the first, the local variable. A local variable is exclusively, uniquely, and 
only used within a script. A local variable cannot get a life outside of a script. It's impossible because the local variable lives in a script only demonstration. Okay. So I have a script here. Local variable. Okay. And I'm going to define a local variable. Okay. So I'm going to set a variable. I'm setting a variable. And here Farmer could give you indication here, you know, name prefixed by dollar sign are local variables. Okay. Only within the current script. Okay. So let's stop reading here, right? So we, we stop here, forget this. So we named the we named the variable with the local and so okay. This is um a name, okay? My name. My name. So you can you can you can put whatever name you want, but you cannot put uh you know all the special character and percent, you know, say all, all those characters, right? You cannot, you know, you cannot do that, right? In the name of the variable. So you can do this, my name, and let's put Nick. This is my name. So far, so good. Until people in California, they decide to change it. So um, Nick, this is my name, right? So if I run these scripts, so if I go to see my variable, because this is where I can display the variable, right? So if I display the variable here and I run the script, nothing happened. I have nothing. Okay. But if I debug that script, oh, I need I need to add something. Okay. If I debug that script, I set my variable. The my my variable is there. My variable exists, okay? She, it's living, it's alive, okay? My name, Nick. I define my name with Nick. This variable is living. But if the script is done, right? If the script is done, the variable goes, right? So the variable will only be living for the time being of the scripts. When the script goes, it goes away, okay? So you say, okay, yeah, what can we do with this variable? Ah, uh, we can do things like this. If my name equal Nick, Show dialog. Uh, hey, you know, hey, my name, you know, how are you? How are you? Okay. And you can say good. So you can do something like this. That means during the scripts, I'm setting the variable. Then I put a condition on that variable and I say, okay, if the variable equal Nick, I want this. Otherwise, you know, okay. You are not, right? Uh, Okay. Okay, so because the variable we believe in within the scripts, right? I can call it, display it in custom dialogue, use it in calculations, right? Because all of this will happen during the time being of the scripts. So 
that variable will be will be available to me all along my scripts. Correct? Okay. So that's why that's why there uh, all of this will work. So let's do it. I set my variable. So we have the variable here saying Nick. And then we say he said if my name is Nick, which is correct. So he passed this and he said this. Hey Nick, how are you? Okay, so because I'm calling the name, my name here, right? Hey Nick, how are you? This is what? Good. And then see the, the variable here? Right? Sorry. Is there? I continue the script. The script's gone, boom, and Nick is gone. Okay? So now <clears throat> let's do that. That I'm not, it's not Nick, is March. Right? So run, let's run these scripts. So <clears throat> now my name is Marge. I define it my, as Marge. So my name is not equal to Nick. So he passed this because <clears throat> this failed. I go to the health and I say, show custom dialogue. Hey, Marge, you are not Nick. And good for you. So, right? And so you see, I call the variable in calculation in ifs and, you know, whatever else if and whatever, whatever, you know, whatever you want, right? So the demonstration is the, the variable is live until the leave the, 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 the life of the scripts. So now what happened with those local variables? If I have, if I call as another scripts, we call that a subscript. A subscript is a script that is called within the scripts. For example, I said perform the scripts. In this script, I'm performing the subscript. Right? Correct? And in the subscripts, I say, um, you know, or I have another dialogue, right? Uh, uh, what do you want to do? Play. Okay. So here, I am going to call another script within this script. So the, the demonstration that I want to do here is this. If I run this script, oh, I need to change that to Nick. If I run this script, right? So I'm past this, this. So I say good. I have the variable here is alive. The variable, the local variable is alive. But if I go to another script, it's not there. It goes. I am in another script. My local variable doesn't leave between a script and another, even though the previous script is still alive, but I am in another script right now. I'm running here. This is where we, we have the call stack. You can see two scripts running, right? The call stack. So I am in that script. I am in the subscripts. Here, the other scripts, this is my local variable script, right? And this is my subscript, you see? And I can see the variable. But in this one, I cannot see the variable. The variable doesn't exist. Correct? So here I have, and here I don't have it. So I cannot call 
I cannot use that variable. That will fail if I do this demonstration. You know? Um, if I say like this, my name, uh, you know, uh, equal Nick, then you say good. Otherwise, you say bad. Okay? So I'm calling this, I'm calling the local variable in the scripts, the subscripts, and you will see what happens. So I'm calling this, this, so here, in, when I am running the, this script here, I have the, I have the, my name here, the local, the dollar, my name. If I go to this script here, I don't have it. And this will fail because I don't have it. Bad. Right? Bad because it's not equal to Nick. It's not. Right? Because it doesn't exist. Here, the, and here back, I have it. Right? Here back, I have it. So this is the local variable. So do, do we have any questions? Yes. Uh, is the local variable passed between scripts if it calls another script within it using the perform script step, i.e. nested scripts? Oh, the, uh, reformulate the question here because I want yes. to make sure I understand. Mm. Is a local variable passed between the scripts if it calls another script within it using no, the so perform script that, that, That's what I just did. Mm -hmm. That's what I just did. And the answer is no. The if when I when you have two script running, like here, like in this situation, I have two script running. I have the local, I'm here, and I have the subscripts. In the subscripts, the variable is not existing. You can you cannot see it. In this script here, I have it. In this one, I don't. Right. So the answer is no to that question. Cool. We have a comment from Stu. It seems weird to see a variable name with a space. I didn't realize that FileMaker could handle spaces. Oh yeah, yeah. You can you can put whatever you want in the name of the variable. Actually, um, I I like to use. So we can talk about the naming convention a little bit here, right? I like to to use the variable in a way that gives me indication. So I, I think um, I would add, or I think I I might uh, if if the variable webinar goes a little bit faster than I I thought. Um, I might go and do a day of our, our naming convention. The name you use, the name you're going to use in everything, name of field, layouts, relationship, um, scripts, viable, put a name that gives you indication like a comment. Use the name as the comment. You understand? So that means that the name of what you put there gives you indication of what it is without having to add a comment. You understand? So, for example, a type of name that I, I like to use. Let's say I want to send, I want to receive, for example, the current, you know, let's say I want to, I want to get the name you know, because I can point to a field in the variable. A variable calculation can be whatever. Here, I can put whatever I want. Could be a field, a calc, can, can be a related field, can be anything. Anything that is calculated. It's a calc, so I can put anything. So I'm I'm going to take this, and I like to say, to use that, to use this terminology, current name. Okay, so I know when I put current that this is something I received from the current 
record. So the current record tells me, Nick, demonstration. If I do this, the current name is Nick, correct? If I do this and I run from here, the current name is Marge, correct? So um, the, the variable, the variable change. So that's why I like to I like to name this currents, right? Right. So after that, you can name different. You can say when when it's something generated, when it's something generated during the script, you can name it. For example, new name, new. Right or modified, so pretty much used as a qualification denomination of our you use as you know what the states it's a state it's a like modified new currents and sometimes you can say you can define the type of what it is. Like for example, if I want multi, if I have multiple, multiple names, for example, in one field, in one variable, I said list of. It's a list of names with an S, list of names, list of IDs, right? So you you name it like this. I like to use. I, I like to, I don't like to use space too much in variable even though you can do it. I like to use camel case and uh, uh, what's the name? Um, uh, underscored. Underscores because camel case is cool. Like what a camel case, you know? A camel case is this list of camel because it's uh um small 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 cap small 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 it's a camel like a you know like see see you know what i mean you use a small you start with a small character small 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 and then when you want to change the the word you put a capital character and then you continue the word like list of okay or current uh, contact IDs, right? Camel case, right? So I like the camel case, list off like this, then separation about this is what it is, the type, denomination, state of what it is. And then that is the name, is the title of the of the variable. So you see, you separate like this. So this is my way to do that. I do that for years and it saved me time because I know what, what I'm doing, right? Because sometimes you can have a lot of variables, a lot of variable, okay? So I show you that we cannot transfer the content of a local variable from one script to another. That means when you when you leave the script, even if the even if this script is running in the background and you're there, the local variable defined here cannot leave there. But it doesn't mean that we cannot get them outside of the scripts. We can we can get them outside of the script. They have a life outside. When I say outside. They they must stay in the life of the script, correct? But they can get outside of this. They can demonstration. So let's say I have a new script. New contact, you know, I have a new contact. So I set a variable, a local variable, or new 
name. Okay. And I want the new name to be the get. Uh, no, I said this is uh, Stu. This is a new name. Okay. This is a new name, right? And I want to create a new record. And I want to set the field. Oh, since they put that new new stuff here, I'm okay. So set field, the name with the current of my new name variable. I can do this. I'm setting the variable with two, right? I'm creating a new record, and I'm setting the field name. With the contact, the cont the content of the variable, boom. Correct. Correct. But this, I'm still in the script. The script is setting the field, right? I remove this, and now I'm getting outside of the workspace. I'm getting out, okay. I close this. So new is this and this. I don't do anything else. Close. I'm going to my field definition. And on the calculated value, I say I want a new name. Correct? In the auto entry calculation. So I am outside of the script. And now I am inside the definition of a field, right? What happened here now? So I delete this record, right? And I'm running this script. I'm setting new name. So new name exists. New name is there with two. I'm creating a new record. And boom, Stu came like by magic inside the field definition as a calculated, as a noto entry calculation, as like this inside. Why? I'll tell you why. Because the scripts. The script here was at the time I create the new record requests. Okay, request. When I do when I did that, the set viable, the viable name, the new name viable was alive because the script was alive. So I could use it. That means we cannot use a local variable from one script to another script. We cannot do that. But if this script here, it is the running front, the front running scripts, and I have a local, and I have a here, I have a local variable, right? Running like I like here, it is available to me at any time, anywhere. Anywhere, you understand? Anywhere, I can go there. So the script is running, it's posed, you know, in the script debugger. And I can go there and just call it, you know, it's there. I can call it anywhere. I can call it, I never did that, but I'm pretty much, I can, uh, I can even call it here. I never did that, so, um, I never did that. I have no idea if it will, if, if it will work. Uh, yeah, to, to force it, maybe I need to do that. Even though I never do that, but for the demo. I have no idea if that worked, but yeah, it is available. The, 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 variable, the local variable is available at any part of file maker anywhere 
outside the script, not only within this. Not What I want to tell you is not only within those script step. You can get this, you can use this variable anywhere in the scripts, uh, anywhere in FileMaker until this script is running. So pretty much what I can do, right? I can do something like this, right? So I run this script, it's posed, and this variable is available to me anywhere. Anywhere, you know? It's there, I can, I can call it, you know? It's there, it's, it's alive, anywhere, anywhere. Because the script is running, the script is posed. So the script is alive. If I go to script debugger, the script is there. It's not dead. It's not dead. So the, the, the variable is available outside the boundary of the script, but another script cannot use it. So that's what that's the point of the demonstration. I can use the variable of the front running script anywhere in FileMaker, anywhere, 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 in anywhere, in every single place, in every single place where, in every single place where I can use a local variable, even, 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 in a you know. Conditional formatting. I can, I can, you know, any anywhere on the on the hidden state, anywhere on the on the tooltip, on on the uh, anywhere. You understand? Anywhere. You can use that local variable until the script is running. And the script is a front runner. You understand? So if the script is running, but it's not the front runner script. Right, that means in the call stack, you know, it, this, it's on the background, posed on the background. That won't work. That means the the variable is not yet is not there anymore. So demonstration a little bit here. Okay, but I did a demonstration. You know, when when you do this and you perform something else, it's not there. You know, the the variable is not and is not available anywhere. It's it's like dead. It's like gone when you do that, right? But if the if the script is a front runner, that and the script is alive, that local variable is available anywhere in your file, in your file, right? So, do we have any questions for so far on this? Meanwhile, script is running. Local variable is in the RAM. Yes. Oh yeah. If you quit FileMaker, it's gone. It won't. It won't be stored. So the local variable won't be stored anytime. A local, a local and global, look, both of them won't be stored. Any, it's impossible to store. It's something in memory, so you cannot store them, and you cannot, you can not, not only store them, but you cannot abuse of them, because if you abuse of the of the variable, then you, you know, you you drain your, you know your memory down and, and the performance down the tube, right? Because you have to handle those in memory, right? In the memory of, in the RAM of your, in the, in the, mem, in, in the memory on FileMaker, right? And in your RAM. So, you know, be careful. You can destroy your performance badly. If you do something like this, if you abuse of the variable, okay, sometimes it happened to me because I abuse, right? But sometimes, you know, um, I find other solution. But but the the goal here with the local variable, I, wa I wanted to make sure that you understand that because so you will say, okay, why we use them, right? But we use them because sometimes you want to use something during the script and then gone. You don't want them there anymore. You don't want the pollution. You don't want something that stay there forever until you quit FileMaker, right? So you want to do whatever you want, you know, you want to do, uh, you know, uh, create something, put something in memory, use it until you don't need it, until the script is gone. 
So for example, here is cool, right? This is cool. Uh, you know, so you want to just this to be alive, the time being of the script, and then go away. Right? A new name to where it's not. Oh, I remove this. New name. Set new names to new equivalent. What? <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. A new contact. Oh, yeah. You understand? So, um, this is the local variable. So now we are going to talk about the global variable. Okay. So it's pretty much the same, but with a difference. We do this. So this is local variable. And this is global variable. Global. 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 And global. So now you understand, you will understand why I was using this example. Okay. So what are the different now? Okay. So I run these scripts. And now I have a global, right? I set my global. This works. It shows, hey, Nick, how are you? I go to the another scripts. And then I show my custom dialogue and say, say, good. What do you want to do? Good. Yeah. My name, the dollar dollar my name is equal Nick. It wasn't before. Why? Why? So let's do it again. I, I did one step too much. The global variable is there. Nick, right? But continue. Hey, Nick, because he said, yeah. You know, my name, dollar, dollar, my name equal, you know, so it's, it's equal to Nick, right? So, but now I'm going to the other scripts and dollar, dollar, my name is there. He's stay there. He's not gone. So I can use it from one script to another script because the variable is not gone. He's there. And I can use it in another script. So now this dollar dollar my name equal Nick will work. The dollar my name equal Nick wasn't working because it wasn't there, you know. But the global can stay there, right? And it stay there even though the script's gone. The script is gone. And the global variable is there forever. I mean, for the time being of the file. That means if I close the file, and if I open it again, well, the variable is gone. It doesn't stay. It's not stored. But the variable will exist for the time being of the life of the session you in FileMaker. That the global variable, they stay there. If you set a global variable, it is there until you close the file or you change it. Demonstration. I go to this currently, my global variable was set the last time I set it with my name equals Nick. 
But now I'm changing. The name is Marge. So if I perform it again, now my name is Marge. I changed it. Right? So I use the same name with a different data. So that means the dollar dollar my name with Nick is gone, replaced by dollar dollar my name, Marge. But the Nick is gone. It's not like we have with records that we can say name, Marge, name, Nick, name, Rick, name, Scott, name, Stu. No, we cannot do that. It's one shot at a time. My name will be defined. And when you set that variable, that's what you get. You cannot, you cannot store, go back what you had before. And if you want to blank it, because this, even if you kill the scripts now, it stay. Right? It stay forever. It will, it, will, it will never go. If you want the thing to go, right, then you need to do something like a clear variable, clear. You name the same name, the variable, and you say, quote, quote. See this? I'm running these scripts. Oh, what happened? Oh, uh, what's the name of my name? Oh, uh, my name, yeah. Oh, sorry. That have you were. So my name, my name, so dollar dollar my name is Marge. If I run this, gone. Because I blank it. So you can, that means said, you cannot have a, an empty variable that doesn't exist. You cannot have a variable with nothing in it. If you have nothing in it, it goes away. Correct? Correct? And that's the same, that's the same, Also, on the local variable, let's say I want to, for any reason, within the script, I want to blank a local variable without to kill the, the, you know, the script demonstration. I'm setting this, the local, my name with Marge. I use it. Oh, I need to go with Nick. It doesn't go with Marge. Sorry, Marge. It goes with Nick only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, I'm setting the variable, my name, Nick. Custom dialogue. Yeah, hey, Nick. Oh, yeah. And I blank it. But the but the script is still running, right? So that means I blank it because I don't want this anymore. I want to I don't know. I want to have something like a, you know, uh, you can have a set variable my name if this not there or if it's not this if it's not that whatever calculation blank it, right? Quote 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 blanks. Quote quote is blanking like a script like a like a field. You know, you said set field blank blank, uh, you know, uh, quote quote, that we, that we blank it, right? Correct? So that the, so the, the local and the global, you blank the same way. The global variable exists for the time being of the session in FileMaker or until you replace it or until you blank it, right? Correct? Right? So, here the global. So now something you need to know about the local, the global, local, whatever variable. Okay. A variable exists only on your computer. Right? A variable exists only on your computer. That means if you are 10 people are using the FileMaker file, using the same file, only you 
we have my name with Nick at that moment, right now. If somebody opened the file on the server on another computer and set the variable with Marge, he will have Marge, you will have Nick, but you know. So the variable is completely independent. They live in your computer. So that means they're very useful because the field is not working that way. That means if the content of that record is Nick, this content of that record on that field will be Nick for, for everybody, right? But a viable, if you need to get this out and do something with the name, blah, 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 that only you. Another guy won't see that. Another computer won't see that. Only you, right? So that's why they're cool. They're very useful. They're useful for many reasons. Let's say you want to uh, use the same data again and again and again and again in the script, right? So you have a complex script and you want to run you run the script, you define your variable on top. You define, I'm going to show you an example, don't worry. But you define your variable on, on top at the beginning. You define this, 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 this. You put everything on the table. You gather all your information. You name them. You say, okay, they're, you know, whatever the ID, whatever name, whatever state is, whatever. You, you put everything you want on multiple variables if you want, right? And then during the scripts, you can call if this variable equal this variable, then I want this. Otherwise, if the otherwise, you know, one of these variables is different than five, then do this. Or if it's superior of get current date, if the, the, the data have in one variable and it's superior of today, then do this. So you can call and call it again and call it again those information. So you send you so you in within the script, right? You gather the information in variable, and then you can use it as much as you want. I use here, I use here, I use in another script, I use here. So you can use, and I can even use that in the name, right? So, you know, you can, a, a global variable, local variable, global, global and local, right? Um, that you can, within the script, you can call them many times. So what's the advantage of this? So let's say I'm going to do this script, no variable, right? No variables. I have no, nothing like this. So this is what it looked like. It looked like this. You call the name and you call the name Right? And you call the name again and again. Right? But this is not clean because you have a. Here so far is it's easy, it's, it's simple. But when you have something more complex, right? So it could be slow because you call one. And then you call again, and then you call again. Here, you call it once, and then you reuse it. But you evaluate this once, right? Evaluate value, evaluate. You evaluate that once, and then you you use it here, 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 here is reusable. Here, you evaluate it here, 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 here. You evaluate. It on all of them, right? So it's not good. And, and here the difference on debugging a scripts. Because variables are really, really useful for debugging a script. Extremely useful demonstration. Let's say, I'm here, I'm running that script, and I say, oh, okay, 
okay, why, why my name Nick failed? Why it failed, right? Okay, why it failed? Okay, you go there. I would say, okay, oh, okay, my name is Marge. Okay, I understand. You can see it, right? You can see it. So now, I'm going there, no variable, and I'm doing the same thing. Oh, it doesn't work. Why? Oh, yeah, but I need to kill this. Otherwise, it will confuse you. So, doesn't work. So, forget about this, but if you had something more complex than this, you have no way, no way to know why it, were, why it failed. Now, you, you know because I call that field and, and the debugger and, the, and the that viewer show me all the open records, right? All the open records shows me. It shows me all the open records, okay? But uh, all, all the open fields, the open records. But if you have something more complex, okay? Like for example, okay. if I have something like this, for example, let's do a test. And I said the variable, okay? I want to say dollar, another way, oh, Another way I'm use I'm naming uh I'm naming my variable is is Nick is Nick and it's a tag that says okay name equal Nick so this oh so this we say is Nick yes no that's what it will tell me. It will tell me if this is, if it's Nick, so I say if is Nick, so I don't need that. So this will say yes, no, true, false, zero, one. And this say if this is true, yes, no, one, do this, right? Because it's Nick, okay? So I know. Uh, otherwise, okay. So let's do like this, okay? So if you have something like this and you have no variable, but and you have you have no variable like this, you know, and you 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 don't use it, let's let's okay. Test with, sorry, test with variable and test without variable. Okay? Okay, so I have a test with variable and a test without variable. Let's run the test without a variable, the scripts. Right? I have no way to know Right? This, if this is true or not, I have no way. Even if I run this, I have no way. Yeah, I mean, you have no way to say if this is true or not. You know, it doesn't tell you yes, no. Do you see yes, no here? Do you see one, zero? Do you see true, false? No, you don't. You see the name and March, but you have no idea if it's true or if it's not true. Right? But if you run the script with the variable here, nick zero, okay, it's, it's, it's not true. It's false. It's false. The, the condition here is false. I know it. Before you didn't know, do you know is Marge is right or not? You don't, you have no idea, right? You see Marge, it doesn't tell, here it tells you, no, this is false. It doesn't work. So this with fail, it passed it. So you know when you debug, okay, yeah, the condition is not 
there. Pull, pay it, you know, pay it. Zero. Okay. But now if I go there and I run it again. Okay, yeah, it's true. Is Nick? Yes. Right? Is yes. Uh it's okay, it's Nick. So this will this will pass. Because I have zero or one. I've it tells you true, false. So putting that in a variable, in a local variable that is alive the time being of the script, that gives you an indication on debugging. It's okay, hey, uh, why is not working? Why is not working? Oh, I know why it's not working. This is failing. All the, all the time is failing. Something wrong on my calculation, something wrong on my evaluation, something wrong on my data. You have an indication where to go. If you don't have the variable in your debugging stuff, you have no idea what happened here. No idea. You have to go and check by yourself, but you have no idea. You understand? So questions? No, people are saying this is good stuff though. So but they it was basic. Okay. We'll, we'll learn something today. That's a quick <laughs> survey. Uh, Raise your hand. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I definitely learned something. So, yep. Larry said yes. What did you What did you learn, Larry? Tell me, I, I, I'm interested. Sue says yes. With spaces, Canberra and Kudidi are are typing. I know that Matt learned about nesting scripts and the perform script variables not passing through. So, okay, that's good stuff because that you know I want to know if I'm if I uh, if I target well my audience because I wanted to to send some messages uh the viable the local that gone go from one script to another the vi the local viable still alive if there is there available only if this font the front runner the scripts is a front runner script or uh, you can go outside of the boundary of the script that means you you can use the variable on something else than a, a script step inside the script the, the, the script you know what i mean so that's what i was saying uh with the, you don't you're not confined only on the script step you can go outside until the script is the live and front runner right so that was the main you know the and the main message and the the local the global are still there forever even when you kill the scripts right and they they can be changed if you reset a variable with the same name and different data, or if you blank it, or if you close the file, they go. Right? So that was the message about the name. Yeah, you can put space, you can put whatever you want, until, but not those special character, right? Um, otherwise, you can you can do pretty much what you want here. You can you can call a variable uh, to another variable. No, from a variable, you can call a variable. So we, we, we are going to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to use, actually we are going to, to learn how I can use a local variable from one script to another because it's possible. This here, I can use this. I can use that in that script. I can, using a technique that I'm going to use to show you. That tomorrow's show adventure, but that, that was was cool stuff. The boss told me to be a little bit more basic and to be a little bit less fast. Okay, so I listen to the boss always. Larry that says they learned like... using variables with conditions. FMP beggars they learned something new every day. Today I learned that the uh, local and global variables live in different ways. Yes. So. Yeah, but the next two days we're going to we're going to work with those variables, right? We're going to um, let me bring my cameras, you know, and stop sharing. So we're going to wait to you. I'm I'm using a lot of variable is you know something you need to use a lot. Okay, um, you need to learn to use this because. Um, you know, it's like, oh, okay, I'm I'm cooking, I'm cooking something. So, oh, I need a, you know, uh, I need a, uh, you know, a knife. I need a fork. I need a spoon. I need some sugar. 
I need some salt, I need some oil, I need some butter, I need okay, so you know, you you put ev everything on the table, right? So that's pretty much what you do with a variable. You say, okay, I put this, 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 I need this, 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 and this, and you and then when there. Uh, the advantage is you can see what you what you have, okay, um, within the the debugger. If you don't, if you don't put that, you know, on somewhere, you can see, you cannot see. So you, you cannot you cannot debug your scripts. You cannot, you know, build it. You know, you need to to have this. Sometimes you say it's a pain in the neck to create all those variables. Sometimes I'm 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 you know, took me, take me more time to build a script with all the variables. But at the end of the day, uh, I save time. You know, I save a lot of trouble. So, I mean, it's a pain because you know, I need to click, I need to put, I need to make my stuff, in, you know, all this. But after that, well, uh, sometimes I have no bugs whatsoever in the script. Sometimes I have some bugs, but very easy to fix. And uh, and sometimes even the variable is not enough to debug. It's not enough. So that's why I have another webinar uh, coming. I don't remember when uh, we have... Um, I was checking earlier. So we have the... Uh, the, the, the auto-entry calculation uh, lookup, you know. So that's something you guys, you ask me. Auto enter calculation versus lookup and uh, what, when, where, and why, you know, or, and then we have the coding standard and calculation syntax. Okay, so yeah, so we have the, so I don't need to to do the, you know, the calc the coding standard or how to name the naming convention, calculation syntax, best practice, you know, all of this. Uh, that will be the second part of December, in two weeks, right? And then we have her in this uh, in January. We have her. What do we have in January? Do you have it? Uh, I'm not off the top of my head, so it's okay. But we have her uh, using technique to to handle errors during scripts, which but an advanced technique, which is it's an advanced technique, but simple, extremely extremely simple to to use. Um, so it's advanced because of the concept from conception wise it's advanced but build and use is super simple and we have the same for the parameters um you know the script parameters so tomorrow we are going to use the um you know how to send how to manipulate variable between um script and stuff like that so that tomorrow and uh okay so yeah but uh, i think we're good yes no thank you very much nick seriously okay Anytime. So have a good one and I uh, hope everything good for you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We will see you tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Filemaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. It looks like the Filemaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir. Oh,